come and make this slow cooker lasagna soup with me. It's actually an adaptation of Board of Lunch's original recipe. I'll put an ingredient list in the caption. To your slow cooker, you're going to have 500 gram of minced beef and I use one of these red wine stock pot. You'll then need one teaspoon each of rosemary, oregano and basil. You then need one tin of chopped tomatoes and 700 ml of passata, so that's one and about a half of these packs that they come in. You then want two tablespoons of tomato puree, as you can see I definitely measured it there. <laughs> You need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, four garlic cloves, salt and pepper and one large onion. You're going to give that a really good mix up. I would actually separate your beef up and, and mash it down a little bit at this stage because I did have to chop it up a little bit later. I was also eating my dinner at this time so I was multitasking but I left that on medium for four hours. When I got home, it was looking lovely, but not entirely soupy, to be honest. I don't know whether that's because I used low-fat mints and there wasn't a lot of oil or anything like that. I put in 400 ml of chicken stock and one packet of fresh lasagna sheets. You do have to be careful to make sure you get the ones that are free and not sinned. Then gave it another really good mix around and added 60 grams of fresh mozzarella, which is two healthy A portions. Again, gave it a really good mix around and let it sit for about 10 minutes. I then added 30 grams of parmesan, put the lid back on and let it sit for another five minutes. I'd realised by this point it was going to be quite a big portion, so I took half out and saved that for later. I dished up a quarter for myself and left a quarter still in the slow cooker. In the original recipe, he uses some fresh cream, so I added that to my husband's portion. That would have been an extra two and a half sins and I just didn't want it. I then put on five grams of parmesan and some basil to serve. This is definitely going to be a favourite recipe and will get made again. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect. My husband actually sent me this recipe to start with, but I was very pleasantly surprised. And I've got another portion for another day that will definitely serve all three of us. So I'll be counting one and a half healthy extra A's for this. Technically, I could have done it with one if I'd have realised that it was going to be over the four portions. But I'm really pleased with how this came out. Let me know down below what you think.